Welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Agustin Jimenez. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. This video will be about how to create or import manufacturer parts in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematics. The manufacturer part management is found under the library tab. Here you will find the add manufacturer part, which allows addition of single manufacturer items. Multiple insertion, which allows you to add multiple parts one after another. And finally, the import option that allows you importing of manufacturer parts from Excel and text files. We will cover adding manufacturer parts first, followed by importing from an Excel file. Before selecting add manufacturer part, we need to select a classification. There are predefined classes out of the box from SOLIDWORKS Electrical. However, you can create your own classification from classification management also found under the library tab. In this case, I will select circuit breaker classification, then select add manufacturer part. To create a new manufacturer part, you are required to provide a reference, which is a part number, as well as a manufacturer. The class has been already selected. In this case, I will select a sub-classification for circuit breakers. The following properties are optional. Library can be used to group your manufactured part to a specific library, whether it be a custom library or a default from SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Type will designate your manufactured part as one of the various types of parts. Article number is primarily used for internal or custom part numbers. You then have external ID, exclude from bill of materials option checkbox, data sheet if you wish to attach a PDF data sheet, Mark root is the marking this manufacturer part will display when used in a project. In this case, I will use CB for circuit breaker. Descriptions for the manufacturer part can be included in multiple languages if necessary. Then we have supplier information information from the system which is filled in automatically then we have illustration these fields are used for alternate representations of your part such as line diagrams schematic pages SOLIDWORKS 3d models 2d footprints and more the size section can be used to describe the envelope of your manufactured part by width height depth and weight. Voltage and frequency information can be inserted for use and control sections, followed by manufacturer data such as current ratings. In the ERP data tab, you have up to 20 user data fields for more information about your manufacturer parts. The circuits and terminals tab is used to add circuit and terminal information about your manufacturer part. You can add multiple circuits at once or one at a time. For our example, I will add three circuits at once. Under circuit type, we have various options. They can be set individually or by multi-selecting, we can do multiple at one time. Once circuits are present, you can establish terminals corresponding to each circuit. Terminals can have a custom mark, undefined or defined orientation, wire termination type, max wire number, and more. Let's cover how to import manufacturer parts to import many manufacturer parts at one time. In this case, we will use an Excel file. Select your file. Here you will select the tab for which you want to start importing from if multiple tabs exist. 
The save in the import configuration button will record what is done in the next steps and save that as a configuration that will be listed here and can be reused on future files. Next, we can give the step a name if we wish and select the data type. In this case, we want manufacturer part. Next, we are asked how many title rows we have in our file. In this case, we have one. Next, we will define the fields in our file. As you can see, reference and manufacturer are in blue because they are required. Drag and drop each field type to its designated column. Description has the option of different languages if needed. Next, you can add an additional data range, which will take you back to the beginning for more data. The compare function will run before running import. The data list to be processed will be compared to the software data. This is so that before validation, you can know which elements will be created and updated. If you are satisfied, hit import. If not, hit previous to make any changes. If classifications are desired, you will need to identify the correct class root found at the properties of each classification type in classification management. Or you can designate the classification manually after import. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and leave us a comment below if you have a topic you would like us to cover in a future video. Visit our website goengineer.com for access to our personal training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Bye for now.